Hi, this is Corrine from the Cut at Home Design Team, and I would like to introduce you to a brand new product. This is Angel Craft Transfer Paper. Angel Craft Transfer Paper comes in two sizes that you see here, 12 inches by 8 feet. I already took it out of the packaging. It does come in packaging. Here is the 12 by 8 feet. That is a nice size right there. And this size here is the never before seen size of six inches by 50 feet. Yes, that's right, 50 feet, if you can believe that. I mean, this is a lot of transfer paper here. The 12 inch wide is perfect for any die cut machine with a 12 inch opening like digital die cutter, the Silhouette Cameo, the Provo Craft Cricut, the Big Shot Pro, which is a manual die cutting machine, and the six inch transfer paper works beautifully with the Sizzix Big Shot. I love this size for my smaller projects. So I will be demonstrating how to use the 12 inch transfer paper with my Cameo, and then I will show you how to use the six inch transfer paper with my Sizzix Big Shot. I will also be using the Angel Craft Vinyl in 12 and 6 inch widths. So here's the 6 inch here. So let me set up for that and I will be right back. So here I'm demonstrating how to use the 12 inch transfer tape along with the vinyl. This is the 12 by 12 vinyl and I cut, it's hard to see on camera right now, but I cut this thing out on my Cameo and I do use a Cricut mat with my Cameo. Um, so I want to show you exactly how I did it. I used the settings that when you click in the Cameo in your design software, it will tell you what they recommend. Just follow those with the vinyl and I think you'll find that it'll cut great. So I'm taking this, this is a brand new mat, so it's gonna take me a minute to take the entire piece off. Super sticky mat. Okay, so this is the, the entire piece of vinyl that you receive in the 12 by 12 pieces. You leave the backing on, you put it directly in your silhouette to cut. What I like to do next is cut a straight line and save the rest of my vinyl. So I'm finding where the edge of my design is and I will cut that off. You can also do this in the silhouette, put a, a cut line right below your design. Okay, so I cut that off, and I will of course save all the leftovers, because when using your mat in the silhouette, you can use the tiniest of pieces. So now I have my design here, and I have a couple hearts here, which I don't need, so I'm just going, well, I, I don't need them right now, I should say, so I'm going to cut those off. And here is the project that I'm going to vinyl. You want to make sure that it is clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a paper towel and some Windex. I'm going to clean this off. Okay, so I went over that with Windex. I made sure that was clean. Now I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This is the 70%. Any rubbing alcohol will work great. I'm just going to go over the top of this and you want to do this with anything you're going to vinyl, whether it be a coffee mug or anything ceramic, plastic that you're going to vinyl. And again, you want to make sure that's completely dry. Let me set that aside for just a moment while that's drying. And the next thing you want to do is to weed your vinyl. So what that means is you want to take out the negative vinyl that you don't need. So I always start from the corner. I use my Tim Holtz pick. Any any sharp object, you could even use a um, craft knife or a dental pick, whatever you have. And um, before you do that, you want to press down your design. I like to use a brayer 
and what you're doing is just pressing it right onto the that back piece. You can also, if it's an intricate design, I do go over it with my bone folder as well. Okay, once you've done that, now you want to go ahead and weed it by pulling off the negative, and you want to do it slowly. If any of the vinyl is coming up, then you want to just press it back down. And this is sticky, so you want to be careful that you don't stick it back onto your design. So now you just want to pull out the pieces, the negative pieces that you will not be needing. Okay, so now set that aside. Now th this is where the transfer paper comes into play. This is the 12 inch by 8 feet. What I like to do is to hold it up to my design and simply cut around it. Now if I was doing a full 12 inch design, this matches perfectly with it. So as you can see you would just want to measure it out and you can take it to your paper trimmer to get a perfect trim, which actually that's what I'm going to do just to show you here how to do that. and this will give me plenty. So I'll just trim that off. That gives me a perfect cut. And now I'll continue to use my paper trimmer again. You can use scissors if you prefer. And this way we are going to save the amount that we don't use. I save even the tiniest bits of scrap with this. Okay, so we'll save that. And now again, I like to go over it with my brayer to make sure that it's down very well, and I see that I missed a small piece inside of the E, so you want to double check your design, make sure you're getting every little last piece. Now I'm simply going to add my transfer paper to the top of this. So what I like to do is start out at one edge, peel it down, and now you can fold this down. I like to turn it sideways, I find it easier, and I'm just simply going to match this up to the top of my backing sheet. and then press that down and then slowly press it down as I'm releasing this. So as you can see it's just very easily rolling right onto that. Okay and that's all there is to it. This you don't need. So now I'm going to use my brayer, press this down. There's several tools you can use. This is a large scraper and you want to do this more so with an intricate design. You want to do it with all your designs, but you really want to be careful with a very intricate design. You can also use your scraper that you have from your Cricut, or if you have one for the Cameo, or you can use an old credit card and go over it. However you want to do it. And now we're simply going to peel up this transfer paper and it will stick to this. If there's any part that is not sticking to it, you just press it back down and rub it back on. This works great for home decor. You can use it on your walls if you'd like. So again, we do not need this part. And let me bring over my design. And being that you can see through this, you can place it where you want. You want to make sure it's in the middle. Place it down, and I like to work from one end to the other. 
and go through the same process. You want to press it down with either a brayer or one of your scrapers. Even go over it with your hands. The more intricate design, the, the more careful you want to be. And now you simply pull up the transfer paper. And again, if any part of the design starts to come up, you want to press it back down and push like that. And you want to go very slow on this. Take it slowly and watch your design as you're doing it. And then I like to go back over it with my hands and just press it down. Isn't that adorable? So as you can see, I added that to the top of my card keeper. Now I had already cleaned this and I want to add a couple more of the designs. So here are my additional hearts that I cut out from my silhouette. And again, here is the top part. I will also demonstrate how to use the transfer paper with your Big Shot. I'll be right back. Now I'd like to share with you how you can use the 6 by 12 inch pieces of vinyl, Angel Craft vinyl, in your Big Shot machine. I'm using a die here. You can use any die that will work in your Big Shot machine. Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued, but if you're looking for a dress form die, this Kaisercraft one is adorable. It's a little too large for the project that I'm going to be making with this today, so I'm going to use the smaller die. So I'm going to place my die in on my multi-purpose platform, cut side up, and then I'm going to place my vinyl on top of that. I'm placing it color side down. And now I will place my sandwich. I'm going to put my cutting mat first and my extra mat on top. and you can see just how well that cut through. So here's the extra pieces. I'm going to pull all of those out. And now this actually is the die that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to remove that from the vinyl. And I'll set this in aside in case I need, if I'm not sure if I need other pieces. So now being that this is such an intricate die, I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. I'm going to, normally you want to weed out the negative pieces, any of the pieces that you're not keeping. However, I'm going to place my transfer paper on it first and I'm going to weed backwards. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is my six by 50 feet transfer paper. I'm going to just cut off a small amount. Let me set this aside. You can very easily cut this by hand, but I like to because truth be told I'm a little bit OCD. I like to keep 
a, a straight edge on it if possible. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of that. And that's why this six inch is so great is I don't have to waste a lot. It's perfect for my cuts like this. Like I said, I'm weeding this opposite. I'm reverse weeding. So I'm actually going to take off my transfer paper. I'm going to remove that. And the reason, again, that I'm doing this is because this is such an intricate die. I'm going to place it on top of my die really press it down and then I'm going to cut this part off because I can save this part. So now I'm going to really press this down. It's going to stick a little bit to my mat but that's okay. I'm going to use my bone folder. I will also use my scraper. I want to make sure that I'm getting every detail of this. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and if any part does not stick to the, if it pulls off, it's going to pull off the backing sheet. That's what you want it to do. Now again, it's keeping all those pieces that we're eventually going to get rid of. This we can throw away and now let me pull over my project here. I'm making a mini album with a acrylic cover. so. I'm going to hold this in place so I can decide where I want this to go. Now this has a protective sheet over it. If it did not have a protective sheet, I would want to clean this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no oils on it, but I know that it's perfectly clean since I'm just taking that piece off. So I'm going to just kind of hold this in place and being that I can see through this, I'm going to decide exactly where I want my piece to be. Actually, I think I'm going to add a label. This is from the Labels 40 Spellbinder S4465 and they have several pieces. I think I'm going to cut out a piece of this first. So let me just set this aside quickly. Beautifully. And that just pops right out. Here's another scrap piece of paper. So now I'm just going to simply peel the back off this and now I will be able to use this to see where my design is going to go. So again keeping this in place now I want to do the same thing with my mannequin and I get her where I want, press it down. And now we still have to weed this out. So I'm going to press this down, pull off my transfer tape. If your transfer tape happens to pull off any of the negative pieces, then that's okay, that's a good thing. In this case it did not, so we will just simply use my my piercer and I will do the same thing that I showed you before and just take off all the negative pieces being very careful as I go. Normally you would do this first but with such an intricate design I find that it's easier easier to do it afterwards and I'm just being very careful to pierce the vinyl and not my plastic behind it. It's not hard to do it's very easy to do.
I used the white mat and I added that as well. And again, that is on the acrylic album, which you would not be able to use. Um, if you used paper, you would not be able to glue it down or any glue you have would show through. So that is why vinyl on this is great. I'm taking the backing piece off so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks great from the front side and the back side. I will most likely put a small word here that you won't see from the front that you only see on the back as well. And I will show you pictures of what this finished album looks like. So I hope you've enjoyed, and if you have any questions on how this transfer paper works, please let me know. There will be links in the description box below where you can find this transfer paper and Angel Crafts vinyl. Thanks so much for watching.